SR570 Unpacking Check that the packaging contains face shield, peel off with clips, breathing hose, user instruction, cleaning tissue, connect the hose. Connect the breathing hose to the face shield. Connect the hose from the face shield in the fan unit or the compressed air attachment SR507 and turn it clockwise about 1/8 turn. Visual inspection before use. Check that the hose and gaskets are clean, in good condition and mounted correctly. Check that the visor is properly locked. If the visor have any kind of scratches or cracks that affects the optical properties, you should replace the visor. Check that the exhalation membrane and exhalation cover is in place. Check that the sweatband and forehead seal are clean and in place that the airflow deflector can be adjusted. The face seal hooks are attached and the face seal is fixed, elastic and in good condition. The head harness is fixed to the face shield. The shield open and closes and has no signs of damage, impact marks, cracks or scratches that may reduce its protective ability. Performance check. Turn the flow meter bag inside out and the flow meter appears. Place the head top in the flow meter. And start the fan unit. Grip the bag to seal around the breathing hose. Grip the flow meter tube with the other hand, the tube will point upwards from the bag. Read the position of the ball in the tube. This should hover at a level with or slightly above the upper marking on the tube. 175 liter per minute. If minimum flow is not achieved, check that the flow meter is held upright. The ball moves freely. The bag seals well around the hose. Adjust head harness. There are different options. Height adjustment. Angle adjustment between visor and head harness. with adjustment of the head harness. Putting the face shield on. Start the fan unit. Adjust the width of the head harness using the knob located at the rear of the harness. Lower the visor. Insert a finger between your chin and the face seal and run the finger along the contact surface of the face seal all the way round to check that it fits well against the face. Check and adjust so that the breathing hose runs along your back and that it is not twisted. Change the visor. Remove the peel-off clips. Release and remove the visor. Fit the new visor. Start in the center. 
make sure that the visor is centered and end up in the groove on the face shield. Secure the visor on the right and left side. Check that the visor is properly locked. Change the exhalation membrane. Remove the visor and the valve cover. Remove the membrane. Press on the new membrane in right position. The text up on the membrane should be visible when mounted. Check that the membrane is in contact with the valve seat all around. Press the valve cover into place. Fit the visor. Change the face seal. Release the face seal hooks. Push the face seal pins out and remove the face seal. Fit the new face seal. The marking on the face seal and visor should be in front of each other. Press the face seal all around the visor. Make sure that the face seal pins is fixed in the visor. Secure the face seal hooks into the head harness. Change the head harness seal. Release the face seal hooks. Remove the head harness seal. Fit the new head harness seal. Press down the tabs of the head harness seal in the socket on the face shield. Place the seal so it fits between the sockets of the sides of the head harness. Change the sweatband. Release the face seal hooks and the head harness three fixing points. Remove the sweatband. Push in the head harness tongue into the new sweatband. Note how the sweatband is turned. Fit the sweatband into the head harness spikes. Fold the sweatband around the band of the head harness and fit the spikes in the holes. Secure the two loose sockets of the sweatband onto the head harness.
change to head harness. Remove the head harness from the face shield by releasing the three fixing points. Secure the both fixing points of the head harness on the sides. Secure the fixing point of the head harness in the front. Change the gasket for breathing hose. Remove the gaskets. Clean the connections and the packing room. Mount the new gasket. Cleaning. Sundström Cleaning Tissues SR5226 are recommended for daily care. For more severe soiling, use a soft brush or sponge moistened in a solution of water and detergent or the like. If necessary, spray the face shield with 70% ethanol or isopropanol solution for disinfection. If the equipment is more heavily fouled, the head harness seal, face seal and sweatband can be put in a laundry bag and machine wash max 40 degrees Celsius. Other items can be washed in the dishwasher max 55 degrees Celsius. Clean the exhalation membrane and the valve seat. Storage. After cleaning, store the equipment in a dry and clean place at room temperature. The flow meter can be turned inside out and can be used as a storage bag for the head top and the fan unit. Store the face shield with the visor in the fully raised or fully lowered position. Avoid exposing it to direct sunlight. An alternative is our SR505 storage bag.